Here in Western Oregon, the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ron are using historical artifacts and modern technology to unlock their past and to tell their story in a new way. We have uh, beaver teeth dice. Uh, we have dentillion purses from the South. We just wanted to pick several different items that reflected the different people that came here. More than 20 native tribes and bands make up the Grand Ronde Confederation. They were forcibly moved to the reservation in the 1850s. Our rights, our identity, our land, all of that was taken. Also taken, then temporarily returned, were these 16 artifacts, loaned from the British Museum in London. It's known as the Summers Collection, after the Episcopalian minister who collected and documented these objects in the late 1870s. We didn't just want to get uh, these items from the Summers Collection loaned and to come in and be on display for a year. What we wanted was the traditional knowledge that went into making those. And to do that, they used 3D scanning. Using scans of these artifacts, the tribes are looking to fill gaps in knowledge about traditional resources and technologies. Mm -hmm. Like, they use iris, that's, really nice detail. that's wild really to me cool. because that's so much work. Iris is really similar to silk, I guess. We have this rattle in the collection that is has these deer toe rattles, and it's all this cordage. And finding out that the cordage is actually made of like wild iris fibers, it was definitely an aha moment, because if anyone knows anything about wild iris, these are like hair-like very fine, like baby hair fibers, they actually have this uh, enormous tinsel strength to them. The Summer's Collection exhibit at the Chachalu ended late May 2019. Though the physical artifacts have been packed up and sent back to the British Museum, those 3D scans continue to support the tribe's cultural restoration efforts. It's not just an object. We can see the, the finished historical object and then from there we go, okay, how do we translate that into our lives today? And that's what's happening here. I mean, that's what's so exciting. Inside Chachalu's cultural education classroom, specialists are learning how to recreate the artifacts for future generations, putting them back in the people's hands. These were never um, used or made until the collection returned to us. You know, I know there's, there's a thought, well, in modern times, what, why do you need to do that? Well, it really represents the survival of the people. Our goal was not to focus on 200 years of historical trauma. Our goal was to focus on all the, the landscapes that we come from, our traditional lands, all still exist. With a clearer understanding of their legacy, the Grand Ronde tribes have a shot at creating a better future on their own terms. <laughs>